Mic checker. Chica, chica, chica. It's an awesome, baby. Uh, yeah. A one time, baby. Uh, what for your mind, baby? Uh, yeah. We gon' shine, baby. Uh, and what we do, we gon' grind, baby. Uh, yeah. What? And this is another episode, so, so, of Swingers After Dark. And this is your host. Nah, son, baby. What's good, family? You know what? I really didn't want to do this episode on this particular topic because it should be self explanatory And I'm a firm believer that you shouldn't state the obvious. But sometimes you do because some people don't get it or they're oblivious and they lack self-awareness or they may, they may be misinformed, you dig? And I want to talk about washing your ass. You know, it's a damn shame that you have grown folks who don't understand washing your ass. They don't understand that cleanliness is next to godliness. They don't understand personal hygiene, the importance of personal hygiene. You have people who cut corners or don't cut corners at all, you dig? And I, I want to speak to the ladies because it's mainly the ladies. You know, I, I don't want to walk into, I mean, fellas, wait, let me back up. You know, fellas, we need to wash up too. I'm, let's not get that fucked up. You know, we need to wash our ass too. But I want to talk to the ladies because the ladies, they're internal. Men, we're external. Women are more internal because they have a wound. You have a hole next to a hole, better known as the asshole and the pussy, you dig? And it's like, I don't want to go into a playroom at a hotel party or at a house party and the shit smells like a fish market, you dig? Or it smells like badussy, booty dick ass pussy, you know? So, it's like... It's like you it's important to to take a shower before you get to the venue. As soon as you get to the venue, between your play sessions, and hopefully before you take your ass to bed. You know what I'm saying? But people for some strange reason, they don't understand that concept for some some strange reason. They don't understand the concept of washing up constantly, consistently. Now, however, You have people that no matter how many showers they take, they still smell funky. They still have those evil spirits lingering inside them. Better known as funk. It's like they can wash their ass as many times as Muslims pray, but they still smell foul. They still got the stench of evil that follows them like the black cloud that rains on them. And not for nothing, a lot of you females, a lot of you chicks, y'all need to detox or cleanse. Holler at that vinegar, the apple cider vinegar from Bragg's. Holler at that. Make a, a, a concoction and go on a fast. Detox. Cleanse. Because just because your outside is on point, that doesn't mean your inside is on point as well. Your insides could be rotten as hell. And you don't want anybody to smell the after effects of you fucking at a party. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember I, 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 I co-hosted a party in Maryland and I asked this chick, I was like, yo, what did you like about the party? And she like, I love the party. I said, she said, I love the party, but what I dislike is that, you know, some people stink after they play, after they have sex, after they fuck. And I'm like, yo, I have no control over that. I have no control over who washes their ass. I have no control over who diets. And 9.9999 out of 10 times, people do wash their ass. Women do. Men do. People in general do. But for the most part... It's, it's what you eat. It's what you eat that's fucking up your pH balance. 
is what you ingest that's messing up your body chemistry. Not to mention you might take raw dick, which also fuck up your body chemistry. And then your evil spirits is going to manifest itself at a party, which is unfair for me when you smell like Pepe Le Pew. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I know that I, I may sound harsh, but hey, it's a dirty job, but somebody has to do it. No pun intended. I just want to say, ladies, you know, you know what to do. If, if, you're, if you're of age, and most of the people in the lifestyle are between the ages 25 and 50. That's 50 years old for the non-slanguage people. If you're between the ages of 25 and 50, your bicentennial age, then you should know how and when and where to wash your ass. And you should also know that your diet is important. What you ingest into your body is very much important because you don't want to be a walking trash can. You don't want to smell like the brown juice that's, that's drip dropping from the damn garbage can. You know that, that brown juice that you see from the garbage can. And it, it's, it's sad to say that I've come across some chicks who smell like that and I didn't want to fuck. They look like dimes. They were baddies. Nice bodies, nice face, but it's like they couldn't get rid of those evil spirits. And you, and sometimes you gotta tell them chicks to light some candles or something. Have a seance. Get on your Buddhist shit. Nam yo yo rain cake yo. Get, do whatever you have to do to, to get rid of that aura. Get your aura up, get your chi up. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not fair for everybody at a party to smell your uncouth. Like you smell like you have no home training, that you don't know how to wash backwards and not frontwards. Don't wash towards the pussy, wash away from the pussy if you're taking a shit or you peeing. Simple shit like that. You know? But don't get this fucked up, family. You know, women in the swinger lifestyle. <laughs> They, 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 um, they're clean for the most part. You know, I'm, I'm not going to front, you know, women and the lifestyle, they know that they hygiene got to be on point. They know what they got to do at all times. So I don't want to make it seem like that women and the swinger lifestyle are nasty and they don't know how to wash up. They don't know how to diet. They don't hit the gym and all that. I don't want to paint that picture, but you do have that small minority. Who can't tell the forest from the trees? If you know what I mean. You know? You do have that small minority that will fuck it up for everybody. You know? And I'm talking to them. If this don't apply, then let it fly, ladies. I'm not talking to you. If, if you dieting, cleansing, detoxing, fasting, washing your ass, you're, you're a neat freak, you got OCD when it comes to showering and bathing, this is not for you. You're only laughing at it. However, if you see that your fellow woman, your fellow sister in the sisterhood, she's not on point, pull her to the side and tell her what's up. Pull her to the side and pull her coat That she's not right She's not living right She's living foul But do it in a nice way To the point where She don't want to fight you And then we got to break it up And then we got to kick y'all the fuck out the party Also ladies Make sure that your toenails are on point You get a manicure On your, on your hands A pedicure for your feet Make sure you're on point If your feet are on no point Then wear some socks But I love pretty toes I love sucking on toes. Granted that she has nice toes and she doesn't have corns and hammer times and it's not crusty, but I love toes. And I want to see if your toes are on point for me to put my lips on, you dig? I want to suck on them toes. While I'm getting in and out of the snappy nappy dugout. Ow. You know what I'm saying? I, I want those toes to be on point. I want the nails to be on point. You know, I, I want the, the hair on point, you to smell good, 
You know, make sure that that um that pussy smells like sanitation. You know, it, it smells like skin. Matter of fact, it doesn't even have a smell. F fresh pussy doesn't even have a smell to it. It doesn't have a scent. <laughs> to be honest with you, it doesn't have a scent. You know. So to recap, you know, make sure that. Make sure that, you know, your health is on point Because health is wealth Make sure you shower as Before you get to the venue Shower when you get to the venue Before the party Wash your ass Between your play sessions And I hope that you shower Before you take your ass to night night Before you go to bed Before you catch Z's Before you go to La La Land, you dig? Because I don't want to get to a point where, you know, if a chick doesn't have good dieting, let's just say she showered. She did all that good stuff. She's on point. But that's when times when I've come across a female and I step close to her and she has on that strawberry scented lotion, but I could still smell that, that sourness seeping through her pores. I, I, I can still smell that scent that that scent does that doesn't agree with my nose that doesn't agree with my brain that makes me pause you know what I'm saying that makes me go uh, make a u-turn and fuck with the next chick who got her shit on point you know what I'm saying just because you bathe and wash and take a shower that still doesn't guarantee that you're gonna be living right because what you eat could seep out your pores and like I said your pH balance got to be on point your dieting got to be on point everything got to be on point that pussy don't have smells good pussy rather you know and I don't know uh, excuse me shit talking about nasty pussy is making me tongue tied but anyway this has been another episode of swingers after dark and this is your host not some baby check out my website www.notsunblaze.com that's www.n-a-h-s-u-n-b-l-a-z-e.com and subscribe to this channel to this youtube channel hit up my ebook on my website you me us them the swinger manifesto get it got it good Hit me up on Snapchat. Snapchat is for the ladies only. I'm not interested in snapping with dudes. My Snapchat is Nasun the Great. My Instagram is for everybody though. My Instagram is Nasun the Great. My Facebook page is Planet Nasun. That's Planet Nasun. My Twitter is at Nasun1. That's the number one. And my Tumblr is Nasun the Great. Or you could just Google me. Alright? On that note, until next time. And we gonna go out like this. Uh, uh, so here we go. Uh, so here we go. Uh, so here we go. What? And I'm out.